Alright, here we are at another episode. Sooner than I expected, I posted in the thread. I didn't think I could do till Thursday, but I found a bit of time, and I want to go. I actually may take a break sometime in the future, because apparently Shoals just got really terrifying. Since I'm playing Trunk, I get the new changes every day, like I update my save for the new changes. And apparently, there was this branch called Enchanted Forest that had some really strong monsters, and people had kind of a mixed reaction about it, and apparently they t took a lot of the scary monsters from them and just put it in shoals, and they don't have forest right now. So I guess shoals is a terrifying place to be, and that was one of our branches. We have shoals and snake. So if we do, like, the dungeon and an orc and then snake, and shoals is still horrifying, we may wait a couple more days and see if there's any plans of making it less scary, or if that's just <laughs> what shoals is now. But, uh, anyway, we spent all last episode kind of getting our kit ready to go and explore. We're just training fighting and stealth for now, just kind of bumping up some useful stuff. And, uh, yeah. Let's go to the... Actually, why don't I just auto-travel to it? Orc. Oh. Oh, right, I haven't found Orc. I was like, why didn't it work? <laughs> it's because I'm an idiot. And we also want to go, like that thing I mentioned quite a few episodes back now... That trick someone pointed out where I should try to ID all the staircases. Like, I should go down this shaft now, because then my auto travel will know it, and maybe it will speed me along to where I'm going. Alright. Cyclops comes into view. Oh, wait! I thought I had explored this floor, and I hadn't. What I just did was actually really retarded and dangerous. Um, and I may die. I thought that I'd explored one floor below, and I hadn't. So, <laughs> alright. That's an exciting way to begin. Um, I'm debating whether I want to summon. I may as well do a miner. They're cheap, and I'd really hate to, like, suck and die. Especially because I went down in the shaft. Alright. Screw you and your rocks. Your rocks don't rock. Yeah, that guy was unnecessary after all. But you know what? I've got a buddy, and now I've got him for, like, this steam dragon or whatever. Since he's sleeping, I'm actually going to see if I can... Nope. And I'm very hungry now. But he struggled to resist, so it was close. So let's put our staff of energy on so we don't starve ourselves to death. Yeah! Yeah, boy. <laughs> and there's that fish, because the noise, obviously, is loud. So there's this goldfish, like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to eat, but we also need to not be oom. You are so not matter. I hope all these orcs that I'm seeing means this is or orcs at. Oh man, I really want to shoot this giant. Yeah, I just need to waste an arrow and kill him because trying to wait for him to maneuver around is not working. Oh no, you killed my imp. Thanks, buddy. Please don't be directly in front this whole time, though. I really want to. Sh I want to shoot the fucking giant. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thank you. Oh, wait, I need one more. Oh, fuck bees, man. I can't go up the stairs because I fucked up with that shaft. You know what? This is going to be embarrassing for bees, but I am going to, I think, greater serve. Well, I've got resist poison. If I didn't, I would summon a greater servant just for the bees. A lesser servant ought to be plenty since I have resist poison. And only because I have resist poison. You need to be dead now. Yeah, and there's the Mocklib heal. Alright, I am fine. But I did seriously consider a greater summon there, because if you don't have resist poison, fucking killer bees are fucking nightmare. Alright, I'm hungry. We got one chunk from him. Oh, awful. Oh, there is an unseen horror. You see that something hits your orange demon. There's an invisible dude who's a huge douchebag and will fly... A lot of characters will just kind of get, like, insta-killed by him. Uh, I don't think we've got any items with C Invisible on them. So now we look at kind of our options. If we had a fog scroll, it could read that. He would, like, disturb the fog, uh, you know, as he goes around. We don't have a fog scroll. Uh, what do we have? Probably a lot of demons can see Invisible. Uh, can this guy? Wait, it wouldn't say it here if he could see Invisible. So, let's go... What? I thought I fucking closed you, Steam. 
I can swear I closed Steam. Yeah. Okay. Orange Demon. <laughs> it's orange. Thanks, Crawlbot. Yeah, okay. He's got no. See Invisible. Um. Hmm. I don't actually know what the play is here. I think it's just, uh. get into a little hallway and spam destruction. The problem with that, of course, is uh, it's going to get really annoying just because I no other option and I'm walking blind. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit here. We're going to eat some killer bleed flesh. Oh, we're going to sleep for a while. Our demon's going to have to die here. Oh, wait, this is two openings. I'm stupid. Okay. This doesn't even give me... This gives me a one-half chance. Um... Oh wait, I can dig off to the end of the end of the map, right? There's nothing stopping that. Yeah, fuck it. Neener neener. That orc has a wand. Fuck that guy. Oh, so kill him, dipshit. Come on. Ah, why did I have to tell you to do that? That was really obviously the play to make. Oh great, now that fucking unseen horror. I, like, ran away. I need you to be here now, Unseen Horror, because I need to deal with you in my death hallway. Just give up or something? Oh, well, there's the staircase to the mines. Since I screwed up with that with that staircase like a baddie, though, I really ought to find a true up staircase first. Oh, yeah, now the Unseen Horror is hitting me. I feel power rushing into my body. Oh, is that rank 2 of uh, augmentation? Yeah, boy! That just gives you more power and more spell power. You can't even, like, hurt us now, hardly. Alright, you didn't lose your interest this time, buddy? Awesome. What? Is that not hitting him? There we go. It hit him. So what's happening here? Is he going... Can they go inside the walls, the Unseen Horrors? I didn't think they could, but... I think he can, actually. Or those should be hitting. So I may have fucked up here. Severely. Why? He's, yeah, he's just invisible. He's not like incorporeal. Why am I not hurting him? I guess I'm just missing all the time with these bolts then. So I've got... This is still the best thing. Yeah, that stone arrow hit. Uh, maybe the wand will be more likely to hit? Hmm. Actually, you know what might be wise? Oh, I summoned like an idiot. That's not what I wanted, actually. Because <sighs> now i got to like throw the bolts into the... Aether and maybe hit my guy. Yeah, that was just a misclick. Oh, and did I just make him angry now, my necklicks? I think I did, too. Because I'm fucking stupid. Well, because this is what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit Z, B, and hit A, because this guy's been hitting A so often. Because this is going to hit the Unseen Horror if he's in any of those squares, you know? So... There we go. So you see the rock fragments hit something. Machlab accepts your kill. You feel a little better. Um, I hit, I killed him. That's what that means. I feel a bit more experienced re-enabling auto pickup. So he's dead now. Um, let's minor destruction to finish him off. Let's miss a lot with minor destruction. Let's use our bow instead. Oh, those aren't even my guardians at his summons, but now he's dead. All right. Near starving. So that was our adventures into the 
magical world of unseen horrors. Uh, oh, that was a different hotkey that I just did that told me I've been playing with this guy for four and a half hours. So now you see why I like Sultanas, because they like barely feed you at all. So if you think you're going to be able to get fed soon, then they're a great kind of just stall for time item. I'm going to eat another one. So yeah, if you don't have seen Invisible, as you've noticed, those Unseen Horrors are a fucking righteous pain. Oh, an amulet. We're going to deal with that later. For now, we, we really just need to eat really badly. Okay. That is why I love Sultanas, because let me just stall and I can just eat four-headed. Even though he's the weak kind of Hydra, like I'm still at six pips, all Hydras get summons. That's just how I'm going to work it. It is better to do with someone you don't need. Oh, you fucking idiots. Attack the Hydra. Why do I have to tell you this? Thank you. Summoning does get really fucking tedious sometimes. Give that to Mockleb. I've actually been burning piety, so maybe I'll even need to do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Bees are dangerous. And this game is all like, yeah, bees are dangerous. What happened there? That's a, a corpse already. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. That's horrifying. No. No. That's enough. Fucking water elements are coming for us, but we don't even give a damn until we get clear of that electric eel gauntlet. Holy god, was that terrifying. Alright, buddies. Go get them. What the fuck up is with that hate, hateful eel area, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, basically, I think here's my only way I can deal with that like in a safe and efficient manner, is I'm going to keep popping up until I can, uh, I can petrify one, and then I can use him as an origin for LRDs. He strains under the huge effort it takes to resist, so I bet next one will work. Yes, he's moving more slowly. There we go. When he stops moving, hopefully I can kill him and some of his friends. Oh, I got a... At least... I didn't only got the one, I think. But I did get a chunk to eat. Which is good, because I was hungry. <laughs> That's one way to feed yourself. Turn an eel into stone and break that stone so hard that dinner gets delivered. Yum. Yum. One, two, three, one, two, three. Go to sleep. God, this staff. Fucking prince money. I'm really digging this. Alright. One, two, one, two. Looks like four turns should be enough in general. Why is this goldfish so much harder to kill than that eel was? I feel a bit more experienced. So I killed two guys off screen. Oh, wait. Urig is like real shit, isn't he? Urig's like a warlord. He just looks normal dangerous, not very, so that's comforting. Uniques will often look very dangerous, so normal dangerous is pretty darn good. But uh, we're going to do our due diligence anyway. He throws javelins. He's roughly just... Oh, as an orc knight. Okay. We can take him, but like just like Hydra's, it's so little investment on our part to throw down a minor summon that we're going to do it because we're... Low on mana, we don't have those options available to us. Erg cheers loudly. Thank you for reminding me that I need to yell at you in turn. Get my... Well, I need to waste a turn because I forgot. I don't switch from my staff to my... Stop just gesturing at Erg. He's resisting. Are you not noticing this? Whatever. P 
period trick. Howling took it. Hey, there's some glowing ring mail, though. I'll buy that for a dollar. And we're going to nap forever. Uh, what do you got for me, glowing ring mail? Ooh, fire resistance, and it's plus three. As opposed to cold resistance, zero. So it's the same. So we want to wear this as our standard. We want the RC. I don't think we need it to... um. I don't think we need to carry it to hot swap to it though, uh, just because it is heavy. I think we can just put it at our stash for if we go to like a specific area where we're fearing cold attacks. And in general, we'll just do this, and we'll put on our ring of ice if we want to switch our resist fire for resist cold. And we won't even have that weakness to fire. We'll just be one RC, one pip of RC, and uh, no pips of RF. Yeah, I think I've killed all the eels now. Water elemental showed up, but I don't actually see it. Oh, there's that eel left. Minor destruction, minor destruction. Get out of the way, shark. Oh, he's not getting out of the way. There's steam. There we go. I have saved some arrows. Oh, that water elemental means I want to. They're not that bad. I don't want to be fighting a shark at the same time. Because they can, like, constrict. Kind of constrict. Like, they stop you from breathing, which has some effects. Uh, I can look them up. No momento. Alright, so I'm out of food. So we're going to butcher the goldfish and not the shark. And, alright. See? So that was a really hellish pool. And you see why. What I mean about not fucking around with electric eels. So that took us a long time to do but we were safe, which is not a thing you can normally say regarding electric eels. Our fighting is level 6 now. That's awesome. I think when our stealth hits 6, I'm going to swap that to Evo and then keep fighting up for health for a little longer. Because not like we need to be super stealthy, we kind of just like to have some chances to... some entries and then not having to fight everyone at once a lottery. Yeah. Actually, I may as well, since I still haven't found the real staircase and like... I want to look one from fucked up with a shaft. I may as well just clear this level before I do orc. Uh, mummy, you're weak to fire, buddy. Cursed my amulet of stasis. It's fine, I didn't want to wear that shit anyway. Um, wasn't I about to do something? Oh, right, I was about to turn off stealth, but not until I hit six. Uh, so these trails, I don't know if I've explained these mushroom trails. Like, Mush like a spore blew up and now it's creating this colony that's spreading amongst the dungeon, continually replicating. We'll get some experience when we finish off the last one, but it can be kind of a pain if it goes unchecked for a while, as it did here, because we were busy. Jellies. We're going to cast magic at them, so not waste arrows. Centaur. Let's have an archery fight. Oh, you're still alive? Fuck you. Yay. Why it taking me so many spells to kill that jelly? That's brought shame onto my household. Still have some goldfish to eat. That's funny, because I eat goldfish in real life, but not like the fish. Like the delicious crackers. Wow, is that a solitary yak? No, of course it wasn't a solitary yak. I just wanted to dream for a moment. I lived in a world with solitary eggs in them. Period shooting. I think I can get to... Yeah, if I go here, I can get to fighting just one at a time. Oh, I thought I was hungry, but I forgot I just ate that goldfish. Maybe I'll become hungry. Let's clear out these friggin' mushrooms. Follow the yellow brick road. All oh, right, it was that one I saw in the water, and I just didn't deal anything. That's not an active one, though. Oh, no, it was, yeah. Having destroyed it, I feel a bit more experienced. And now my stealth hit six off of breaking that mushroom. At least that mushroom could conceivably be teaching me the art of stealth. Uh, yeah, let's roll this split for a bit. Uh, just because we are still lugging that sack of spiders in, we do have two boxes of beasts for kind of later usage. Uh, I mean, we've got Mocklib too, obviously, but there's some time when we want to fucking go full tilt. 
Like, I don't see us using the Box of Beasts in the sense of, like, I'm going to take my Box of Beasts and slowly use it as a panic button. Because, like, we kind of mock up for the panic button. I see the Box of Beasts as, like, let's train our Evo, and then, like, on a branch ending, let's just find the enemies and open it and just take Beasts out until we run out of Beasts. Um, well, I should check and make sure it's not like a cap or anything. I've hardly ever used the Box of Beasts. I just have... Oh, that's right. Why am I trying to kill him with an arrow of flame? I'm dumb. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm really digging that staff, you guys. Yes. Yeah, don't eat that. It's not for you. Oh man, my centaur already rotted too. Oh, this is apparently an arena level, and by fucking up with our, <laughs> fucking up with that shaft on accident, we just didn't even notice. Okay. <laughs> well, that happened. Uh, we're pretty hungry, so let's go ahead and get ourselves to the orcish mines so we can eat some orcs. Orc 1 is hilarious. Oh, I sh should have shot him, I guess. But yeah, look at that stealth, homies. Mmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I remember goblins? And how they're a thing? Okay. I can't quite tab through Orc 1, but... Get close. I do want to summon just to clear out the crowds, but even before summoning, it makes more sense to like kill the priests. Then I summon... Uh, just a crappy one, because like... I could probably even take it, it's just uh, Orc Knights are actually kind of hardcore. So, we're gonna summon for them. But, yeah, aside from Orc Knights, which you hardly even ever see on Orc 1, honestly, you can pretty close to tab through Orc, even on a non-fighter like us. Alright. So, Orc is really great, too, if you're one of those people who aren't at full piety yet. Because uh, if you're worshipping a god who does blood sacrifices, of course. Not all gods do. I know it's hard to believe when you've watched me the playing with Blood of Chaos and Fear, but some gods don't want blood sacrifices. Although Evelion wants weapon sacrifices, and those are also <laughs> sort of plentiful. Oh, we got a message. I'm hitting F12. Woo, YouTube. I'm going to give him a smiley face. I don't know how long that message has been there. That's how long that mouse has been there. Hopefully it was just now when I went to open that. Oh, I almost missed a corpse. Alright, Machlib. You already love me the most, but I'm pretty much... It's inevitable I'm going to spread even more death and destruction in your name. Oh, shit. He's a sorcerer. He's like the next tier of orc caster. So we want to kill... This is like the most brutal orc one I've ever seen. Like, totally serious here. I'm not going to die or anything? But I, I need to think with my brain, and that itself on Orc 1 is pretty goddamn spectacular. Uh, we're going to go get our little safety firing line here, and uh, we're going to go have some fun times. Keep walking. Keep up. Alright. Can I... Do I have... I really can't hit anyone with Petrify. Oh, because my imp is completely... What? There we go. Hee 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 One more turn. I don't even want to do a summon now because that's just gonna be one more person get mad at me when I fucking unleash hell here. So while I wait, um. I don't even know what to do while I wait. I guess I'm going to throw on stone skin, actually, just so I can stall for time more while I'm waiting. One more turn? How long are you going to take to fucking turn to stone so I can use you to kill all your friends? I guess we'll just lob one at him, whatever. Alright. Yes, my smoke demon died. I'm actually happy about that, because now there's no one to get offended at this. Oh, that was so fun. That's going to be even funner. That. <laughs> oh my god.
good. That was rewarding emotionally. Now we're not going to use apostrophe because the half turn will bite us in the ass. So we're going to have that. We've got these stairs if we need them, but I honestly don't know if we will. Because uh, these are like the orc warriors. I mean, they're a little hardcore, but like the orc knights are the bad ones. These ones, pretty ignorable. I think this guy in melee range is going to be a slightly more damage than a smite does. So we'll leave the priest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's that orc sorcerer. You might remember him from a bit earlier. That's him over there by the gold. Oh. I was just trying to, like, pray over corpses and accidentally kill the guy. Orc flesh is tainted and not as filling, but there's a lot of it now. So we're alright. Anytime we get that symbol that says there's too many things on the ground to count, we're going to just pray to be safe. We don't need to butcher anything, because there's that... Yeah, that was a random, really intense Orc 1. Um... I mean, that fucking shatter saw it. I can't imagine there's that much left on this level. I pretty much could have woken up the fucking dead. And we kind of did wake up the dead, just they weren't quite dead when we woke them up. They're going to be dead so soon after, though. That for all practical purposes. See, this is one of those things in the early dungeon that's to be really dangerous with the little guys screening we can't shoot. In fact, I don't even need to say that. That was the first episode. That was like a recap of the first episode, only now we're crazy strong. Not even crazy strong, just... Mockleb is <laughs> great insurance while you're figuring out what you want to do in life. Mockleb is like those parents that let you move back in after college, you know. It's like, I mean, someday you're gonna need to you're gonna need to be an adult, but right now, man, whatever. Oh, he's got a ruined battle axe. It's actually kind of a strong weapon. Uh, it's too bad for him. He's not gonna come here with it to hit us. Ever. Didn't need to bother the staff of power. It's not like food is going to be an issue. Jesus. Sorcerers, too. What happened? Did they just buff Orc and Trunk? Like, because I'd actually, I would approve of that. Like, Orc has been such a fucking joke all the time, except for Orc 4. That, like, buffing Orc could do it some good. I just don't know. Like, if they didn't buff Orc, then this is just really improbable. I mean, improbable even in a good way for us, because we're handling the challenge and. More danger means more experience, right? I get surrounded, but by regular orcs. Honestly, I don't need to be praying all these to Mockleb. Like, it's not gonna matter. How much orc? Yeah, I got two chunks right now. I'm doing it anyway because, I don't know, I'm one of those guys. It's gonna bother me if I think that there are corpses from my beautiful blood god who are just sitting. I don't think I want to bother checking all these glowing weapons. We have our artifact with double MR. Like, just a non-artifact normal branded. I can't imagine one that would be, like, better for us. And then distortion means it would be dangerous to wield ID. Because distortion weapons have these really cool blinking effects. But then, when you unwield it, one of them randomly happens to you. And one of the options is being banished into the abyss. So that it's really dangerous to wield ID it. And, like, means we'd have to either scroll ID or risk it. And I don't think that's worth either the scrolls or the risk because, like, it's really unlikely just, like, a random... It's a battle axe of flaming. Yeah, well, I got two pips of MR on my goddamn flail, so... I'll eat this one. <laughs> Unnecessary prayer time. Alright, that was that was randomly a really intense orc one. Um, so let's go. And remember when I said that the chambering code in orc is uh, more than usual? It creates little chambers. We have all three down staircases here. But um, there's a good chance that they're going to lead... Like, they're not all three going to lead to one continuous chamber. We can walk between all three up staircases. There's a decent chance that there's going to be two chambers of Orc 2, and depending on which staircase we take down, we go to one or the other. So, that's something to know. Let's go ahead and grab our stone skin.
We feel an oppressive heat about us. This is a branch. It is a volcano. We have a rank of fire resistance. Um, we're going to probably try to hit that volcano. I have a lot of unidentified shit that I forgot about. Uh, and we just need to make sure that we have our, our... And we drop our important scrolls at the door in case they get burned. Uh, we don't have magic mapping, right? Yeah. So if we'd miss it, we miss it. So we're actually not going to do our unnecessary prayer, even though I'm like weirdly, you know, all about praying for no reason. I'm not going to do it here just because time actually matters quite a bit more now. I will stop to butcher like this, not even one of these guys, one corpse a little bit later. Oh, there's some lava. That's going to be volcano. So that was quick to find. No, that was just random unrelated lava. But we heard the rumble of rocks nearby. Oh, here we go. All right. So here's the here's the volcano. Uh, so we're gonna take some steps before we go in. First, we might have a ring that like protects us from fire or the amulet. Actually, I actually don't think an amulet can, but we have. We're gonna scroll ID this because, like I said, we don't want to wield ID faith since then taking it off penalizes us and we're at full, so we're not gonna get any benefit out of it. And yeah, there we go. It's good I did that because that would have really sucked to wield ID. Now we can wield ID amulets again. That's the only bad one. We're going to try out this onyx ring. Quick. It feels deathly cold. It's probably a bad effect, but sometimes a, like a good ring can just randomly be cursed. But yeah, this is hunger, so we don't want it. We're going to remove ring of hunger. We're going to wield... No, not wield. We're going to put on... Protection from magic. Yeah, we got the run rank of fire resist. Um, let's quick see what this potion is. Hope it's beneficial mutation and gives us resistance to fire. Oh, I quivered it because I keep messing those buttons up. Glug. Oh, well that's a potion of resistance. So we have a little bit more resist fire for a bit. I guess I can try to rush the beginning of this with that. Uh, we're going to drop... Boing. Yeah, let's just drop all of our scrolls. Um... Did I just I hit G? What is G? Oh, it's my gloves. Nope. I'm so bad at buttons right now. What did I just hit now? Okay, I think I fixed my weird problem. Yes, we're out of scrolls now. We're just going to quick confirm. And um, we might want flight too, because uh, there are some where there's just lava. You just have to fly and get as much as you can over the lava. But we're unsure enough about it. Oh, another important thing. Oh, yeah, it is good. I remembered this in time. Uh, we want to wield our staff because our fucking fire bow isn't going to help against a lot of the shit here. Okay. So we might be leaning heavily on our summons here. So, like, that's what they're there for, right? Oh, you're just a human. Alright, uh, you get the flail. Kind of wasting our resistance here, but... Oh, a robe of fire resistance. Uh, that would be cool, but our chain rails have been giving it... If it was like an alt slot that gave fire resistance, even if it was something we didn't normally want, we would wear it in the volcano. I guess these are all fire cultists, and they're all going to have these. This is kind of a cool... I've never seen this person, like, particular volcano arrangement. Kind of enjoying it. There's an exit. The air gets thick with the scent of sulfur. Is that going to be like a cloud of something? I don't know what that means. Scent of sulfur. Okay, before we open this, because this looks like it's going to be dangerous, let's get our stave ready to go. A toenail golem and a lot of loot. I think I speak for all of us when I say, what the fuck is a toenail golem? <laughs> a huge animated statue made entirely of toenail clippings. Some people just have too much time on their hand. Does that count as brittle? Can I LRD toenails? Um, toenail golem. Doesn't say. There's only one way you can learn whether you can LRD toenails. Z, B. Yes! I can totally LRD toenails. 
Alright, so there's some more. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to back away first so we don't die. So I'm starting to think, because this has been really easy, as you've noticed. And I don't know what that sulfur means. I'm thinking that's going to be like a time limit and then stuff gets shitty. So we are going to try to expedite our retreat out of here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the stat. What is our plus three on our ring? Yeah. That's chain mail, which I don't even think is in our like resistance range. Yeah, it's 15 encumbrance. We're going to leave this because I'm kind of getting this feeling that every turn is going to count here. And with those sulfur messages that I don't understand. The volcano erupts with a roar. Yeah. I don't know what that means. So we're going to always kind of stay in eyeshot of this entrance. And we're going to try to be really efficient with the turns that we take. Because the fact that this has been not much of a challenge is heavily suggesting to me that it's going to become shitty soon. We're also not going to eat. We're going to be really miserly with our turns. Although we will spend our half turn to get our staff of energy out now, like before. Uh, since it can't burst a two when you hit a target like that, this is safe. <laughs> the blast of toenail fragments hits the human. Oh man, we've all been there, right guys? Um, okay, well this was shitty loot, but it was also not at all dangerous. Um, I guess I could technically fly and see if there's something on the edges, but given all this erupting that's been happening, that strikes me as unwise. So I think we totally cleared out. Down. Yeah, we're going to just call it like we see it, and we're going to get the fuck out. Um, what is it? Common comma to pick it all up, right? Yeah. Okay. That went, that went well enough. I mean, we didn't really get anything out of it but this potion, but uh, maybe this is beneficial mutation. Glug. It's Berserk Rage. Okay. We got to ID Berserk Rage, and we can... Oh, our human rotted while we were fucking around like idiots. But I'm so hungry. We're still exhausted, which means nothing bad. The slow coming off Berserk is bad. What exhaustion does is, um... There are just effects that make you exhausted, and you can't use one of the effects while you are exhausted for something else. So it's just kind of like a global cooldown for a very small set of abilities. Um, it's Leap. God, I think it might just be Leap and Berserk Rage. There's probably others, but I'm not thinking them off the top of my head. Uh, just kind of, it's kind of in the same way as how exhaustion works, as there's breath abilities. And it's just when you've used any of them, they like go on the same cooldown. Is that a shrine to Bio? Yeah. What is he supposed to look like? It's like he's like a tree stump. We worship that. Tree stump, king of orcs. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, but yeah, so like, you don't want to be like a draconian priest of Zin, for example. I actually think they took out priests, right? But the problem with worshipping Zin as a draconian, for example, is that <laughs> your breath for your reciting and your, like, dragon breath is the same cooldown. At least it was. I don't actually, I could be wrong, because I haven't done this in a, quite a while. As evidenced by the fact I mentioned it with the example of a priest, which was an old background that uh, starts worshipping Zen, that I'm reasonably sure is no longer in the game, actually. Zen's cool god. It's kind of funny that, like, Demon spawn would be amazing because they got like that huge invocations aptitude, um, but they're evil, so Zen won't accept our worship. Hey, this is kind of entertaining. Let's go ahead and. Oh no, I hit Z. They've earned a small summon. This is intense. And now we're gonna switch to the staff, and we're gonna. We're just gonna use this warg as a conduit to paralyzing. Oh, but he. Avoided it. This guy? Yeah. So now we're gonna... Oh, except now we can't see him, so that was kind of counter-the-fuck-productive. That's what I get. My my instincts are too good. My instincts to flee and be safe was so strong that I couldn't see the guy anymore. Oh, and he, his petrification just ended. Well, whatever. His petrification may be over, but that wall is still a wall. 
And I don't care about the spell hunger because there are so many edible people I'm about to murder. Get out of here. Crazy kids. I guess pretty... Oh, that's right. I don't even know if I mentioned this. LRD checks armor class three times. So it's absurdly damaging, raw, but armor resists it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, unlike th some other spells, though, it doesn't check your magic resist at all. So it's not that it's bad, but it's not something you want to use against heavy tanks. It's like, we'll use it there to kill the priests past him. Uh, there's no substitute for just raw battle more fighting him, though. Luckily, as strong as orc knights are, like, we went to orc pretty darn late in the scheme of things. I will give a thank you. If I get too many people talking, I can't answer them, but for now, this is a manageable amount. I think they're all just waiting for that guy doing the ZOM LP, but he must not be operating at this moment. Hey, it's a troll. I don't know how long this has gone. I don't know if I should cut it. Maybe I'll cut it at Orc 3 being over. I'm worried this is going to be a super long episode, but you all can deal. Uh, we don't need to do this, but it's going to be really hilarious, so we will. <laughs> I feel more experienced. So I killed dudes beyond just the dudes I could see there. There was a lot of dudes killed in that attack. Um, I'm still eating that warg, wow. That warg has carried me through a lot of hard times. And I think I actually spoke too soon about the chambering. I think they just gave me a really big fucking level. Yep, I count the squares. They're in three, like, little sections with one staircase each, but uh, it's all connected, so that's surprising. That's not common in orc. Oh, I want to do this again. Giggles. Completely unnecessary, but it's necessary in my heart. See, like, goblins and hobgoblins, you can fucking remember those guys. We just orc, man. Fucking orc. I'm starting to think that maybe my first instinct that maybe what they did was <laughs> rebalance and make orc more dangerous. I think we just had really weird luck on orc 1. This orc 2 is a lot more consistent with what I was telling you my understanding of orcs 1 through 3 was like. But we'll see... Orc 3 should have a little bit to deal with, but not much. And then we're going to leave it forever. I mean, to be honest, like, 100% not bullshitting you guys, we can probably do Orc 4 right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the banishment ending, we've got our MR ring, right? So, and then the banishment ending, I shouldn't just say that because you're probably like, what the fuck? There's an ending with a lot of Orc mages, and that's kind of the reason it's scary is that they can banish you. But, uh... A lot of that, you know, we'll need one greater servant. Maybe we'll dip into one of our evocable items. Like, whatever. We could probably do it. No sweat. But, like, what do we lose? We lose the food having to backtrack here. Oh no, we have a ring of sustenance. Food has never remotely been an issue. I didn't expect to find you here, Zen. So, we're not gonna, because it just isn't as smart as trying to do maybe one more floor of dungeon and trying to start the snake pit and start, well, shoals. Although, with the things, like I was saying at the beginning of the episode, with the weird buffs to shoals, actually, I think Orc 4 may be safer than shoals right now, which is a really disturbing thought. <laughs> Rotted. All right, that was... And see, this is what I was talking about. What do you count? Two down staircases and one up staircase. That's not Orc 3. We didn't finish Orc 3. Um, so now let's go find some more parts of Orc 3. Let's eat this guy first, though. Alright, here we go. Here's another chamber. Um, I'm not convinced I need to give a shit, but I may as well because it will be funny. Come on. Come on, you cowards. 
<laughs> oh, it's too fun. Yeah, I think honestly we're gonna we're gonna just focus on our earth magic. In fact, what am I training right now? Oh, and those are both on the point nines when I had this thought. That's even more encouraging. Let's get our fighting to eight and our evo to seven. Let's go into earth two thirds, invo one third. Let's let's put our bows by the wayside unless we find a good bow later, and then we'll go into bows again. But otherwise, we're just gonna kind of use them as boredom in or bow as a boredom inhibitor, which do not underestimate a boredom inhibitor in crawl because most of your deaths are caused by boredom. So if you inhibit your boredom, you live longer. This is a true fact. Or not so much live longer as live more often. <laughs> All right. I've been doing my weird Jimmy Carr laugh a lot today. I don't know what that's about. I'm feeling hungry. Too bad. I'm going to eat some orcs. All right, and now we count one, two, three up, one, two, three down. Those two, those two hearts were orc three. All right, well now we're done with orc three. We're gonna go to somewhere else, but uh, as a little denim out of this video, we're gonna fire this wand. It's a wand of enslavement. Oh, also, you see our skill with magical items. You don't normally know the charges, but we're so good at Evo now. Just by zapping it, we can learn the charges that are left sometimes. Uh, one of enslavement will just make someone your friend for a bit. It's kind of cool. Not as good as you think, because like you gotta try to kill them right before they switch or whatever, and you know, and you know the MR can stop it. So it's not like an instant win button, like maybe it looks on the surface, but it's also certainly not bad. Why are we carrying this ring of hunger? I'm dumb. We have nothing else right to identify or anything. I was so bad about it. Yeah, so. That's Orc. Now we're going to do Dungeon 2. I'm thinking like two more floors of Dungeon. Then we hit the Snake Pits for four levels. And we kind of go from there. And I want to hear in the crawl thread about these new shoals. If it gets rolled back. If it's unreasonable. If people are just freaking out. And it's actually not that much more dangerous. It's just new. Because new can be dangerous in crawl. Uh, we haven't found a single shop here, which is weird. Orc has a lot of shops uh, on Orc 4, but usually it's got some shops in 1 through 3. But at least we got a lot of gold. That's kind of one of the hallmarks of Orc, is it's full of money. So we're at... Why did I hit I? It's right on the... Bloop, 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 bloop. It's 1694. Oh, I just minimized. You got to see a bit of my desktop background. I hope you liked it. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and just uh, go to... D11 really fast. All right, what we should have done is... Oh, this isn't even much fast traveling. I just want to show off the fact that this is something to do. Let's put on our ring of sustenance for the fast travel. And we wield our bow. And we put our MR ring back on. So, when next we meet, you're going to see a couple more floors of dungeon. And then you're probably going to see the snake pits. So, ciao.